just wish I had more time. If you don't do it, we will. I could probably do that if I tried. A good idea comes from a calm mind. It's a bicycle. I'm hungry. Hello? Okay, it takes you places. Are you going to go? Are you going to go? Are you 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 Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Tired of running around in circles? Introducing Focus 500. A flamingo must have its head upside down when it eats. The new and improved Folk-O-Matic. What? Much better than the previous What are you models. saying? The new Focus 500. Hello? the pro in procrastination. Siempre haces. 10,000 cosas a la vez. Mom? When seagulls Mom, what are you follow doing here? a trawler, it's because they believe fish will be thrown into the Do sea. Do you not see me? What if you would have gotten that full-time job at Louis Vuitton? What? Why would you say that? You are always a fighter. You Mom. will never see a U-Haul behind a trawler. Am I not here? What if you did Hello? a fashion show? Yes. That's an auction. Do you not see a me? A comedy show. Hello, what a is this? A claymation show. Where a am I? A theater show. An Hello? A show. show. Hello? A talk show. Who's in a control? Talk show. I know this is startling, dear boy, but it is exciting, isn't it? You feel it, don't you? The energy. It's in the walls, heating up. Like the first time you leaned forward for a hesitant kiss, just to find that there was love on the other side. You're bathed in potential. A gladiator in his own coliseum. The crowd waiting for him to draw his sword. I have called to you uh, or I, I you don't understand me. where are we are we in my mind <laughs> it's neither here nor there nor up nor down you are here now present just where you always have been and always will be so why look further huh feel it bang on your chest you're alive do you know me have we met before uh, I know as much as you show me or I know as much as you're willing to make it work, huh? Bang on your chest. Go on, like me. Bang on your chest. There. Now you're here. Do you not hear the crackling of the fire? What is this smoke? Do you not see this? To assume there is a fire is almost as powerful as the being a real fire, huh? The mind is a powerful enemy or ally. This isn't a game. Why are you so calm? Oh, I've been here before. Many, many, many times. I haven't. I don't even know why I'm here. You came here to watch. What do you mean? I didn't come here to die. So you came here for what? what? I obviously came here to fucking live. Ah, there. You said it. You came here to live. You've said it yourself. This is life. You can fucking feel it! And, uh, isn't it funny that now that the house is burning, you feel more alive?
Now what? What the fuck? Huh? You are an hour late. Huh? Come over here. And how can you come here looking so disheveled? You are a mess. Look, you look like something for a dog to scrub. Here, stand here for a minute. Put your arm in there. Little arm. Make an effort. Go on. Put your arm in the jacket. Voila. Et l'autre petit bras. We have to get you looking nice. Huh? Stand here for two seconds. Okay. We come down here. We take the little zip zip. Huh? Ah. Much better, huh? Now you look like someone respectable. Now, go up to the HR and go see Stacy. Hmm? Who's Stacy? Let's, let's, let's just assume for a second that this is an absolute truth. At the core of human nature is the need for creative work, yes? We can agree on that. Then it would be in our best interest to constantly explore and support that need. But how do you define creative work? The arts, literature, art, music, sculpture, something without bounds. You see, that is where I disagree. All of those have very clear bounds. And it is within restriction that creativity emerges. Creative work, I believe, is a reaction against rigid rules. And indeed, it might be most inspired by having something to break. Without any limits and with too much freedom, we might just find ourselves pondering what-ifs without any action. But it's not just what-ifs, it's... it's I, I need something more. <laughs> more. <laughs> what we are doing here is just as much a part of the creative process, maybe even more so, than ruminating on the arts. How can you say what we're doing here is creative? Look where we are. Creativity is a direct result of work, effort, and time. We are that. Some of the most creative people I've ever met work within walls just like these. These walls are inspiring. If you work against them. So, looking at your paperwork here, I'm surprised to see you're quitting. I'm not quitting. I just got here. Well, I also would not recommend it. You are so close. What was it? The overworking, the hours. <laughs> Your office wasn't big enough, sweetheart. It was none of those things. I'm, I'm literally here. I'm looking at you. You ever try rotating? What? You don't rotate? Sometimes. Having a new perspective on a similar setting is all you need. Between you and me? Every time I feel a little not myself, I rotate the office 30 degrees. Yeah, but what happens if you go another 90? Ah, I'd probably not be very comfortable, but uh, <laughs> I definitely have a new perspective. It's said that happiness is the ultimate good, but is this personal happiness or collective happiness? And is this moral pursuit for collective happiness detrimental to one's personal growth? It depends on what you deem important. Is there a moral strength in choosing the collective over the self? The pursuit of morality is based on the belief in God. You take away that belief, you're left with very few options. Or too many options, leaving everything a little pointless. No, it's impossible to maintain a true sense of happiness for any extended period of time. It is the pursuit of happiness or the searching for something that is the ultimate human condition. And sometimes we have to embark on a journey that might entail a temporary break from happiness to have some sort of relativity. If the, if the striving or pursuit is the only guaranteed way of achieving happiness, and striving happens in every aspect of the day, shouldn't we all be happy? me. I guess I can't say I was expecting that question. I mean, in the simplest form, I, I, I don't see it as tedious work. I see it as mental exercise, you know, a, a positive procrastination. No, no, I, I don't mean it in a bad way. I actually think having a defined goal is one of life's most enjoyable fulfillments, no matter how boring the task is. 
Yes, of course success is the satisfaction, but we can't guarantee that. Hello? 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 Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Whose Idea Is It Anyways? The show where everything is made up and the points don't matter. Or do they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host for this evening, and we have a great show lined up for you tonight. So hold on to your hats. It's cool. It's mm. groovy. It's... Whoa! Oh, whoa. Ooh, whoa! Looks like our final contestant of the day was running a little late and forgot something. What do you all think? Should we let him stay and compete, or should we leave him with his shortcomings? Let him stay! Let him stay! Okay, okay. <laughs> let the show begin. Tonight it's story time, and here's how it works. You, the audience, get to come up with a word, and our contestants have to make a sentence using only words that start with the same first letter. Give me some words, please. Ideally, a person, place, or thing. Winston W, that's a good one. Contestant number one, Winston. Winston was walking. When William whispered, where's Walter's little rabbit? Ooh, unfortunately, no matter how adorable it sounds, Whittle Wabbit does not start with a W. And you are out of here! We'll be right back after this commercial break. Sponsored by Kid Super. Maker of clown clothes. I mean, seriously, even a rainbow wouldn't want to wear this suit. Guys, do you think you would hesitate less if you knew you're not in control of your decisions? I actually think that I would hesitate more and then just wait for the day where I make my own decision. But why wait? If the outcome is predetermined, the jump has already been decided. Yes, but what if it's not predetermined? Then what? Well, then both possibilities just cancel each other out. I think it ultimately boils down to the important distinction between being open to change and change being based only on an omnipotent power. It's always boiling down to you. Now, these changes can be the same. Some based on a higher power and some based on personal instincts. Yes, and I think that is when man and God are in sync. And when I say man, I mean the man that is concerned with the betterment of humanity. Well, hang on. Oh, Th he's hanging. Uh, how can we define what is the betterment of humanity? I mean, how do we as humans even know? That is where the higher power comes oh, from. Oh, I would say there is an innate human moral code that we all have. Don't you agree? Yes. But why do we all have that? Is that not an example of something bigger? Well, I still think when it comes to a higher power... What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Yes, go on. About what? About our existential situation? You guys ever wonder who's pulling the strings? I don't care. There's magic in the unknown. I am open and comfortable with not knowing. Yes. Oh, yes, we're well aware you're comfortable with not knowing, Steve. If I knew everything, well, then what would be the point? Tomorrow, I may be pushed into another room or drop down to the ground, but I am open to new experiences. Yes, darling, but you're not in control. I am in control of what I can control, darling. There's comfort in the lack of control. Who would want him driving the ship? <laughs> Wait. Know? So you want me to cut you down? No, no, no! Why would we want to have our feet on the ground? 
Doesn't look so good from up here. I mean, you could cut Steve down, I wouldn't Oh, mind. come on, mate. I'm only joking, darling. You know you're the butter to my bread. And so. I'm the jam to your bread? <laughs> I like croissants, but I really need to pee now. sketches with funny captions. <clears throat> Sit down. I always love to look at the sketches and then I try to come up with my own captions. Like this one, for example. It's a drawing of two trees. They have faces and they seem to be talking to each other and one tree is lying on the ground. What's your caption? Guys, what do you think? Oh. Okay, so we're supposed to find a caption for two trees talking to each other and another one that fell on the ground? Yeah. Uh, wood. Would you look at that? How about, do you think he even made a sound? Uh, poor sap. <laughs> uh, he was always more bark than bite. Uh, I bet his favorite group was the roots. <laughs> Timber. One. Minute. I got another one. Okay, this is the drawing of a dinosaur eating dinner with an older woman in what seems to be a very classy restaurant. Online dating really works. 30 seconds. Way to break the ice age. <sighs> what about Oedipus, T-Rex? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, after three divorces, she was looking for a more mature man. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 I think I get it. What about, um, I thought all mature men were extinct. Three, two, one, ready. Uh, excuse me, sir. You, um, your clothes are done. What? Clothes, done. Wait, but what were the captions from the magazine? Oh, that's just a fun game. <laughs> this is my notebook. None of that existed. I made it up. Huh. No way. <laughs> you made it up, all right? Well, you got any more? All right. Um, there's a stage with a man, and there's a spotlight, and the crowd is empty. So, what do you think? Uh, don't turn the lights on, he thinks it's a full house. <laughs> oh, he really took the one-man play concept literally. Uh, maybe everybody is waiting in line at the bathroom. <laughs> they said, build it. Thank you. 
The Misadventures of Kid Super. Hello? Hello? Am I going crazy? What are these thoughts? I keep hearing that pop in and out of my mind as if callings from a distant land. Are there alarms ringing off in my head? Like to-do lists jumbled in a notebook written by a madman who is willing and able to weave and juxtapose different ideas together, recontextualizing the insane into the genius. If a thought is an idea that has no direction, then an idea is a thought that has escaped we must see ourselves as magicians, and with each new idea, a great escape. Locked in a box with only minutes to live, inspiration has to come. I put myself in burning fires to demand action. There's always a spark. There's always movement. There's always life. It's funny how a burning house can make you feel so alive. The mind is a muscle that can be trained to see the world as awe-inspiring. Rules turn to guides. Structure turns to practice. Deadlines turn to inspiration. The more input, the more output. We are a direct result of the hours we put in. There's nothing quite like a 3 a.m. idea. There is nothing quite like a 3 a.m. idea. A great man once said, it never existed, I made it up. We must be in a constant state of play, a need to provoke a need to find joy and humor in every little aspect of this thing we call life. But there also must be a sense of calmness, a sense of freedom that allows us to see the joy and the fuck ups and the mistakes. We're all puppets at the end of the day. Who's pulling the strings does not matter. Life is short. There's no reason not to be naked in front of a thousand people. Isn't it thrilling to be alive? I must say it again. It is thrilling to be alive. Give your thoughts meaning. Run out of the burning houses. Work, work, work. Let yourself be pulled by the magic. Race naked through uncharted paths. There's absurdity in every aspect of this life. Make it up. I never got good advice from someone who didn't take risks. Put yourself in burning houses and you'll see some fucking inspiration. Thank you so much. That was unbelievable. I really gave it my all on this one. What's next? I'll see you next year. Hey.